today Philo. Today we are going to do resultant vectors for resultant vectors for two dimension. You see? Last time we were dealing with one dimension, but okay now let's see if I give you F1 to be three newton. Say we have F2, which is one newton this is up, right? Three is three newton right. Then I ask you to calculate FR. How are you going to calculate the value of FR? It's so simple. Let me take this information and put it in the form of a diagram in order for us to be able to visualize it. It's like now we have F1. Let me use uh, tail to head. Uh -uh. Let me use tail to tail method like we have f1 which is uh let me see f1 which is 3 somewhere here we have f2 which is 1 newton from that point again we have let's see f f3 which is 3 newton you see in order to make our work to be simpler but I'm going to do everything in a vertical direction. I'll say it's F, Y, everything along this X. Let's say it's F, X, you see? And also we need to indicate the direction because now we are dealing with vectors. Everything that goes up, let's make it positive right, positive left, negative down, negative you see because now we are dealing with vectors you see what we are going to do is we need to add the two one plus three we get four newton then we have something like this if i were to draw tail to head method the tail to head Tail to head. We have four. We have three. Then this is going to be our F R now. See? This is going to be our F R. This is F Y. This is F X. You see? We need to find the value of F R. That's going to be our magnitude. And let's say this angle, which is going to be our direction. Then let us go and answer the problem. It is clear that we have a right angle triangle. For us to find the value of FR, clearly we are going to use the theorem of Pythagoras, which is Fx squared Fy squared. Do we have FR? No, not yet. Do we have FX? It's 4 squared FY is 3. We square. We get 16 for this one. Then we get 9. Then let us add these two numbers. 16 plus 9 is 25. Going to get 25 which is fr squared fr squared we need the value of fr not fr squared you see if we take root both sides here you are going to get five don't forget to put what units this value represent what magnitude which is five newton then immediately after finding your value of r we need to determine the direction, which is that angle theta there. Which ratio do you think we must use in this case? Because now we have opposite and also 
adjacent clearly is tan let's take tan theta of f y divided by f x we have 3 divided by 4 yes 3 divided by 4 it's going to be shift tan 3 divided by 4 I get 36, we get 36, comma, 8, 7 degrees C, north of east. Do you still remember your compass? We have north, east, somewhere along these two north of east you see immediately after doing this you have solved your problem now we know the magnitude oh they wanted us to find only fr but we also found our direction you see it's so simple it's so simple just like this now let us consider the very same situation now using what the given scale now let me give you this scale now how are you going to do the very same thing using this scale let's say one centimeter one centimeter is two ah let me say one newton because like so simple for this one we have small values then the first thing you must take in this situation is the first thing that you must do sorry in this situation is you must consider your fx as well as your fy we already found that our fx is going to be 4 newton it's so simple 4 newton 4 Newton, what do you think the value of 4 Newton in centimeter will be? This one is so simple. This one is so simple. You can solve it if you want to, but for me, I think it's simple. Because like now, uh, for 1 centimeter, it's 1 Newton. That means 2 centimeters going to be 2 Newton. 3 going to be 3. 4 going to be four see I'm going to say four centimeter this one is much simpler than the one we did first of oh, one dimension see then we also have what our three newton this one was to the right this one was to up upward then we are going to have three centimeter you see so the, it's like now four four centimeters equals to four newton three centimeters equal to three newton let us use what now the the oh let us do this question graphically so not mathematically let us do it graphically so so simple the first thing that you need to do, let us draw a dot like this. That will be our starting point of reference. And draw 4 cm to the right. See? 4 cm somewhere here. And do like this. 4 cm somewhere here. Immediately after doing this, you can do a cross a cross a cross like this for us to not make any mistake then now we go up three units oops sorry there three somewhere there this three somewhere there see yeah there is somewhere here 
then immediately after doing this we made this one to be four centimeter this one to be sorry there to be three centimeter now we need to find the value of fr starting from this point up until there tail to hay from tail to hay i get five centimeter now let me draw i get five centimeter get five this is going to be five centimeter because our scale is so simple five centimeters is going to be what five newton you see we have answered this question which is our fr which is going to be our fr what five new five newton five newton is going to be our fr fr sorry then how then are we going to determine the value of theta the direction see you use your protector your protractor you see so you use your instrument to find the value of theta then you must put that you must put this this instrument where you have marked with a dot you see where you have marked with a dot and start from zero then move upward like this i'm going to get the, the not sure i think it's the let me see i think it's 36 somewhere along 36 you see i get 36 the angle of star is around 36 you see you can clearly see that there is no much of a difference between these two values they are more less the same you see they are more or less the same the thing i was using what the the instrument then the direction is going to be the north of east see it's so simple just like this that's how we answer these two questions mathematically sorry mathematically and gra using the scale thank you